Welcome to your daily dose of Danny. Yes, bedhead. Yes, pajamas. But that is just how I am rolling because I have had, I think I even have stuff on my face. <laughs> I've had a crazy, ridiculous week. Leave the house at 7.30, get home at 11, but I'm loving all of it. So I'm sitting here thinking and getting stuff together for Devoted to a Soldier and returning emails for that and working on the magazine. All these things that I can't get to during this week, during this crazy time I'm in. I'm going through this training because something was put on my heart. Anyways, we don't need to get into that, but dream big. I was like, oh, I hear this all the time and things are popping up about dreaming big. And I'm thinking, yeah, right, Andrew? This is the real deal you're seeing here. Um, is that, yeah, but that is such an overused phrase with like no context behind it. Dream big. Okay, yeah, all right, great. Everybody dream big. But do you actually know what you have to do when you dream big to get those dreams? If not, you are doing such a disservice to yourself and you're going to be like overwhelmed and feel like a failure because nothing that you go to do, you're not going to achieve anything. I mean, nothing that you dream and you're going to achieve because here's the key. Dreaming big and then making those dreams into realities means you flipping work your ass off, you flipping, I'm going to use flipping because I'm not going to swear, um, have to constantly check yourself. Because when we dream big and we get a taste of that, oh man, our ego gets going and then fear. We don't see it as fear, but it's fear. You will do anything to get there. Anything. You'll let your friends go, you'll like let your morals go, you'll take a good opportunity, even though it doesn't really fit with your belief system, but you're like, oh, I have to because that's going to get me there. But inside you have this like little bit of like, you don't listen to your intuition. You let your ego come over. Your intuition is, is God. But whatever you want to believe, I believe it's God. The gift that he gave you inside being like, don't get off track because if you get off track, it's going to be, you know, a slippery slope and it's going to be really hard to get back. So yeah, dream big, but then put the work in that you need to do to get there and don't rely on somebody else. For instance, here's my story because I always learn in stories. When I started Devoted to a Soldier, I had this great idea and I was like, oh, because we do these, um, panels or these round tables with resources because a lot of people, hence myself, don't know what's out there. How can we all know what's out there? We don't. So I said, oh, what if we could, someone could come in and educate people on this? I'm not going to go into what it is. I said, that would be great. But I didn't really find anybody that would fit, that would fit, that would actually educate, not want to get something from our events, right? Just want to give to the event. And then fast forward, I, anyways, I ended up doing it. If you would have asked me, I wouldn't have done it, but a month ago. But the point is by in doing that, that means that I'm having to go through this transition of leaving my, Joyce, you know what I'm talking about, leaving my house at 7.30 in the morning and getting home at 11 p.m. and not complaining rejoicing, not letting the tired and the pain and everything overcome. That is what dreaming big is. You have a dream and you do the work. You do it. You don't make excuses. You don't be, say like, oh, I can't if someone else can. You want something, you flip and do it. And that means maybe for a short period of time, you've got to go backwards with what you think your status is or what people say that you are um, like, God, I wish I could remember the word I'm looking for that you like if you were owned a business and now you're starting at the bottom overqualified even if you're overqualified for it you do the work because it's your dream and when you're achieving your dream there are many times that you got to go back to the beginning you got to go to the beginning of like cleaning the toilets and sweeping up and you do it with a pure heart not I'm too good of, of this and when you can do that, then you can dream big 
and you can actually accomplish it and you're not living in fear. You're not using people to get where you want to go. You're not making excuses of why you haven't gotten there. Now I've rattled on enough. Now I'm like on this like bedhead tangent this morning, but I will see you on the other side.